on Geek Crash Course. We're covering Primer. I'm Michael Nixon. I'm Diana DeKylo. Wait, I'm Diana Seven. Oh, I'm Michael Nine. Oh, that's not good. are two engineers that tinker around in their garage at night with the intention of inventing a device that lessens the effects of gravity. It doesn't actually work, but they notice that a nearby clock has experienced a different amount of time than they have. They've accidentally invented a time machine. Abe and Aaron build a larger version of the machine that they dub the box and move it to a U-Haul storage facility to keep it safe and secure. Initially, they use the box to make fast money in the stock market, the usual kind of stuff you do with a time machine, but then they start to take bigger risks, making a mess of their personal timelines. Luckily, Abe has constructed a fail-safe machine in case he needs to go back in time to stop his past self from using the machine in the first place. After traveling four days back in time, Abe discovers that Aaron knew about the fail-safe machine and has been using it to prevent Abe from preventing them from using the machine. The movie closes with Aaron and a team of engineers attempting to build a multi-story, building-sized box. That's probably not a good idea. The movie was shot in five weeks on a budget of just $7,000, and most of that money went to purchase film stock. So how does the box work? It only lets you go back in time, and you can't go back further than when you turn the box on. So if you were going to use the box, you'd turn it on at the point you'd eventually want to exit in what will become your own past. You go about your business attempting to stick to relatively neutral activities that won't influence or change the world too much, and then you enter the box and stay inside for as much time as has passed since you turned the box on. After that period of time, you will then exit in the point in the past where you turned on the box. At this point, there are now two of you in the world. You, as your own double, can now make changes to the, that influence the world and your future. The reason this makes the movie so confusing is because it's limited time traveling because it happens so many times within the movie. It means you don't know which timeline or which iteration of the main characters you're following. It could be the first, it could be the third, it could be the seventh. The box's hum is a mechanical grinder combined with a car engine. Homework. Watch the movie absolutely more than once. Writer-director Shane Carruth himself has said that people probably won't get more than 70% of the movie on the first viewing. Shane Carruth, the producer, writer, director, and the man who played Aaron in the film, has a degree in math, was an engineer, and studied physics while writing the script. That is it for this week's Geek Crash Course on Primer. If you have any questions, and we're sure you will, you can find us on Twitter, Facebook, or at our website, geekcrashcourse.com. Subscribe above, comment below, and we'll see you next week on, on Geek, Geek Crash, Crash Course. Course. I'll see you in a few minutes because I'm gonna go get in the failsafe box. I'm already in the failsafe box. Oh no, I'm gonna go get in the failsafe box. Logo a go go. Oh, is that like the failsafe box I have that's inside the other failsafe box? No, that's probably like the extra failsafe box that I have, just in case you had a failsafe box. Oh, I'm keeping both those failsafe boxes inside my bigger failsafe box. Oh, but see, I have a massive failsafe, like this whole apartment is just a failsafe box. For all the other failsafe boxes. It's gotta get my small failsafe box so I can pass notes to, you know, Michael too.